I don't really know where I'm going to go with this. If you guys watched the last video, then you guys know that I kind of summarized 2023 up in a small, like seven minute video or whatever. Honestly, I can't remember how long it is, but I basically talked about what happened the past year and, and you know, it kind of got me thinking, you know, what if I did something like that once a month? And so here we are, January 2024. It is February. I understand I'm going to get better at this. January 2024 has been interesting. I can't believe it's already gone. It feels like it was Thanksgiving yesterday. But as far as games go, I got a PlayStation 5 in December. Uh, I got one for Christmas and I basically went and bought a bunch of games. There's like this mega sale on the PlayStation store until like January 17th. I think it's over with by now, probably is. It's February. I think I bought like seven or eight games and it costed me only like 80, $85 or something like that because most games are like 40% off. So I bought like Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Last Survivor, or I, I don't know, Jedi Survivor. I can't remember what it's called, leave me alone. I bought both God of War games. I bought Spider-Man PS4, which wasn't discounted, which like, I guess I, I understood definitely. I can't, I can't remember what else I bought. What else? Oh, Hogwarts Legacy, which I have not really, I mean, I put a little small dent into but i know i'm not nearly far enough and honestly this has been really fun for me i've been playing a lot of games um i finished both god of war games in january both of them are outstanding it's crazy how god of war ragnarok basically went up against one of the most stacked video game lineups in recent memory uh in 2023 so because i in my opinion god of war ragnarok is even better than the first god of war and uh god of war won game of the year in like 2018 or something like that and i think Ragnarok definitely deserved the game of the year uh, mention, or at least like, I don't know, Baldur's Gate 3 is just insane. And it, like, it was obviously gonna win game of the year. Uh, I don't know why any Spider-Man 2 fanboys thought otherwise, but um, anyways, speaking of Spider-Man 2, I think I mentioned it in my last video, but I definitely played Spider-Man PS4 or Spider-Man Remastered in the summer when I started dabbling into single player games a little bit more. I uh, went and I played Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, not in that order, obviously. I had a ton of fun with it. So, you know, I was really excited for Spider-Man 2 and I played that and beat that in, De in uh, December, it was either like the end of December or it was early January when I beat it. And that was a ton of fun too. Not game of the year, but you know, it was awesome. Honestly, it's kind of funny because I've been playing Jedi Fallen Order and I just cannot stand this game. It's awful. I mean, it, okay, let me rephrase. The game is not bad. However, when you don't have all your abilities, it is severely lacking. In my opinion, the difficulty is way too hard, uh, but that's just me. I kind of just want to sit on my couch and play the game, not, you know, sit there at my desk and, you know, try to figure out why the, the, the monsters are killing me all the damn time. This isn't Dark Souls, you know? And the mechanics of the game, I just, this is, Jedi Fallen Order has triggered me way more than I ever imagined. I played the Force Unleashed games and honestly, those felt way more fluid to me than this game has. Um, I don't know, it's just something about the clunky movement. Uh, I guess when you first start out and when you, I guess are first moving through the world. Once you get push pull and you're able to do a flip when you jump or like do double jump basically, like that's when things kind of start becoming a little bit more fluid for the game. And since then I've been having a little bit more fun playing the game. So I guess I just kind of had to get all my abilities, which I don't really know if that's good or not. I get it for the story, but yeah, it's pissed me off. I haven't played Jedi Survivor yet. I'll probably start that in the upcoming week or two. Hogwarts Legacy, I kind of put a stall in. I think this all started with me talking about Spider-Man 2 and how the, good the combat, and, and then I was mentioning the combat and then I switched to how bad the combat was in Fallen Order. Uh, Spider-Man 2, in my opinion, is the most fluid combat out of all the games I've played so far. And now I haven't played Jedi Survivor, so maybe that is, you know, maybe that's, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but Spider-Man 2 is is awesome. It's not better than Tears of the Kingdom though, and it definitely was not gonna win Game of the Year, but you get what I'm saying. Other than that, uh, I've been editing videos for Jack the Bus and Favin recently, and I've kind of been doing my own thing, trying to learn new things with video editing and things of that sort. So besides games and things like that, uh, th those are like the games that I played. I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget about any other games because I tend to do that sometimes, forget about things. Honestly, today I'm recording this on a whim because I legit don't really know like I, I'm not in like a state like where I can stay concentrated. So I figured it would be good to make this video today because I've been wanting to make this video and I kind of want to do this as a series from now on. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Once I start doing these a little bit more, they'll be a little bit more uh, organized and constructive because if I do play a new game, I would like to talk about it for a few minutes uh, in the videos per month. So, you know, 
that just, just to kind of tell you guys my experience, maybe give like a small review of like what I've played and things like that. I mentioned it in the last video, but at the beginning of January, I launched Dr. Boom, which is basically an audio optimization, uh, I guess, business sort of thing. I don't know. It's something where I'm helping content creators and streamers with their audio settings and stuff like that. It's done pretty decent so far. I've had a, a good amount of people reach out to me and I just want to say thank you to those of you who have, you know, dug the character that is Dr. Boom and, and at the same time trusted me to look at your settings and fix whatever I feel you need help with. I'll leave all the Dr. Boom stuff down in the description below if you guys want to go follow all the socials for that. Um, I plan on making more skits and videos for that stuff. So I guess one thing that uh, I noticed when I was started uploading Dr. Boom stuff was, man, like, I like my content drive is not out. You know, I want to make content still. I just, you know, I think Call of Duty just kind of ran its course with me. I always say that I had an identity crisis and I feel like people that don't do YouTube and that don't even try content creation don't really understand it because a lot of people are like, oh, you sit behind a desk and play video games all the time. But the people that try to understand what it's like to be a content creator or what goes behind being a content creator or something like that, uh, those people kind of know uh, what the business is like. And um, it's mentally tolling. I've seen it on multiple people I've worked with and that I'm friends with where it tears their mental health down and they're incredibly successful. It's funny too, because I've played more Call of Duty this year than I have, I'd say since Cold War. And maybe it has to do with like the Modern Warfare 2 maps and things like that. And the fact that my friends are actually enjoying the game this year. And I guess since we're on the topic of mental health, like I was saying back in September, I went back to the gym for my mental health. And honestly, I, going back has been really nice. Uh, I go like four or five days a week and it's really helped me with my mental health and like my my uh, my stress levels i told you guys in the last video but i've been laid off since may and i'm still making money from editing videos for other people but uh finding a job right now is very very hard a lot of the things that happened in january with the layoffs as far as activision and microsoft goes uh really made me feel for those people honestly you know i know what that's like it sucks and you know finding a new job is already hard like finding a job is already hard enough but you know especially finding one in this field is it's it's rare to come by because you, as you can see things like that uh can happen just in an instant so other than that i haven't really done a whole lot i actually went to the gun range for the first time i've never really been to a gun range and and uh me and one of my boys went it was a pretty good time it was cool you know it was it was interesting as a call of duty player is very interesting to kind of go and uh go and do that i definitely shot a revolver and it was dope as fuck so i did that and went to a ravens playoff game thankfully it was the game that they won and not the one that they lost but yeah ask me if i'm salty about that i like i'm sitting here like thinking about it again and like it's it's been two weeks and i'm still upset about it uh not to that point but you know as a fan you know the ravens definitely had the best team in football this year i feel like they had the best overall roster besides the 49ers and i feel like if they should have played to their strengths and they just didn't in the afc championship game they played like they were down 30 when they were only down by 10 and seven. Like we can even say seven before they scored the field goal. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like I can't, I'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys about the Ravens and how they blew it in the AFC championship game. Why would I do that? Because you know, I'm not salty or anything, right? Honestly, like that, the, the playoff environment, that divisional game against the Texans, I was there and that was one of the coolest feelings and coolest moments uh, I've ever had being a Ravens fan. That place was electric. Oh, I can't remember if this happened at the beginning of February or at the end of January, but uh, Angelo sold the Orioles, which is amazing. And he sold them to like two billionaires and like they're like the Orioles are now like the fourth richest team in baseball now or had the fourth richest owners in baseball now. And they went out and uh, traded for Burns on the Brewers and like they have an ace now. So honestly, after the AFC championship game uh, with the with the Ravens and then hearing Angela sold the Orioles, it was like very bittersweet. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for opening day for baseball. Uh, it's gonna be awesome really excited to see how the orioles do this year mainly because they didn't have to get rid of their five biggest prospects or anything like that so yeah it's i'm just excited for baseball season and stuff like that so they, that's just been my that's been my january 2024 and uh i hope i get to uh get around i'm gonna try and upload this as soon as possible so today is february 7th i am so late for this video if you guys did enjoy this and you guys want to see more and if you guys do like the style of editing and content things like that please let me know down in the comments it would be uh greatly appreciated and i look forward to making the february 2024 video for you okay see you guys goodbye